Hola, I'm Darkies and welcome to my studio. So today I'm taking you to a mysterious, magical place. An enchanted forest. And this forest has a river that runs deep within it. And on this river, we will find a fairy. And I think that she's releasing light to those who have lost their way. Thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. So I start off with a rough sketch trying to get the layout of where things are supposed to be. I'm also not concerned about what the colors are, I'm just trying to do color blocking at this point. The paints I'm using are mostly Golden and Lucas and for the brushes I'm using the Creative Mark Qualita So I'm currently going through a phase of exploration and experimentation so this one was my first mixed media and I wasn't sure what the end result was gonna look like at first I set out to make this painting look a lot like the mock-up but as I continue painting um, I realized that it just wasn't working and thus I ended up changing it from a night from a day scene to a night scene. To do that I used carbon black from golden and shading gray also from golden. So this painting ended up being both my first night scene and my first mixed media. Now night scenes are tricky because you gotta get the lighting right. So making it into a night scene was probably not the best or easiest thing to do. But I figured the worst case scenario I'll just chalk it up to a learning experience. Here I'm using ivory black and brown to make the branches. For the water I used the transparent thalo blue from Golden. And for the cherry blossoms I used titanium white and magenta. Also, I started off using the stippling technique but then I switched to the fan brush. I make sure to only dab the tips of the fan brush. That way it will give me the same look and feel as the stippling technique without all the work. I also threw in some leaves in there by mixing ultramarine blue and cadmium yellow. So at this point I wasn't sure what the color of her hair was going to be or what the color of the dress was going to be. So I continued working on the water. For the glow on the lights, I painted that by doing a glaze of transparent white and then after that dried, I went over it with Hansa Yellow Medium, which is also a transparent um, acrylic from Golden. I knew that I didn't want to make the color of the dress white, so I went with purple because I thought that it would be a nice complementary against the yellow. As the base for my boat, I went with a gorgeous turquoise color from Lucas. And for the hair, I decided to go with a dark color, such as black, so that it wouldn't take away from her face. If I would have used the blonde, then it would have taken away from 
the light that was shining on her face. And even though I used black, I did use um, some gold acrylic paints on her hair which sometimes at some angles you can sort of see it shimmering here I do another glaze on the water but this time I'm using ultramarine blue now I begin to focus on where I think that the light might hit and the easiest thing for me to do would have been to use a picture that I already had a night scene but I didn't have that available so I just worked with what I had and I just tried to make the best of it. I also wanted to be creative and not worry too too much about technicalities to the point where it will paralyze me and not allow me to, to do the best that I could with this painting. This is where I decided to change paths and make it more of a fantasy kind of painting. So she became an elf fairy. A fairy is a form of a spirit, often described as supernatural, human in appearance and having magical powers. Stories of fairies don't have a single origin, but instead they're a collection of folk beliefs which I think is not so bad because that way you can create your own world and are cast as either demoted angels spirits of the dead demons minor deities or as elemental elemental is a type of magical entity who personifies a force of nature controlling natural powers derived from their element such as air, water, earth, or fire. This is the paper that I use for the wings and it's sort of a shimmery paper with an orange hue. And here I'm just trimming the paper trying to match it to her body size. After trimming it, I do an outline of the wings and then I cut them out. After placing them where I think they look the best, I use the golden gel medium to glue them down. Once they're dry, I go back and paint over them. I'm trying to make them look similar to dragonfly wings. And to do that, I'm using glazes of gold, transparent black, titanium and iridescent white. And I also use the same violet as the one I used on the dress, as well as the yellow blue. I hope this inspired you to create your own fairy and I would love to see what you come up with. Leave your link on the comments. Here is the finished piece. I had a lot of fun making this video and making this painting and I hope you like it too. Thanks for watching! And if you liked this video, don't forget to like, sub and share. If you like to be notified every time I post a video, make sure to hit the bell. So were you able to guess what the next paintings are going to be about? If so, put your comments below. And don't forget that it's okay to start ugly.